all for being here today and to all of you watching remotely, especially to Paul's family in Ireland and the UK who could not make it here today due to travel rest restrictions. Today is a day of mixed emotions for Jack, Ben and I. We are still reeling with grief and loss a year on from Paul's sudden passing and we are still coming to terms with the massive void in our lives without him. But we are incredibly proud, humbled and honoured to be here in his place to accept this recognition of his contribution to the city of White Plains. As you all know, Paul was a people person. He had a genuine way of connecting with people and an incredible way of touching people's hearts. He put so much time into everyone he encountered and really got to know them. He was a great friend, boss, and a mentor to so many. He loved to, pe to see people succeed and helped his friends in any way he could to fulfill their own dreams, whether it be in a business or a personal venture. He was always there to help and advise. The words I most often heard Paul say, be it to me or our boys, or overhearing him on the phone with someone, the words were, Leave it to me, I'll take care of it. And he always did. He took care of it, whatever it was. After opening Porterhouse in 2006, Paul quickly fell in love with White Plains. He would come home from work, say how he loved this town and the people. Of course, his next mission was to move here. But that plan was put on the back burner for a while as in true Paul fashion, he saw an opportunity he couldn't ignore. He saw the potential for the space next door to Porter House, and in 2010, Hudson Grill was born. We eventually found our home in White Plains, and we were so happy to move and to raise our boys here. It was the first time either of us could call, really call a place home outside of Ireland. It took us three years of house hunting to eventually find our home in White Plains. And at the beginning of the summer of 2013, just a couple of days before I was about to leave to go back to Ireland with the boys for the summer, I had said to Paul, let's continue looking in the fall when I get back. He said, okay, but there's one more house I want you to see before you go, and I think this might be the one. Of course I agreed, and sure enough, this house was the one. By the time I got back from Ireland, he had the house bought and our own house in Tucker was sold. This was Paul. He didn't wait around for things to happen. He made them happen. Fast. Paul was a visionary. He saw so much potential in White Plains. He had so many ideas. And when he first saw this strip of Mamaronic Avenue, he knew that one day it would be a vibrant and thriving area. To realize his vision, he surrounded himself with the people that he knew could help make it happen. He became a member of the bid and was always keen to bring new ideas to help revitalize and bring new businesses and events to White Plains. One such event was Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest started in 2008 as a small event at the beer garden of Porter House. The highlight of the event was a ceremonious keg of beer imported from Germany and was tapped by our mayor at the time and good friend of Paul's, Joe Delfino. Paul saw what a huge success this event was and thought, how can we make this bigger and better? Well, he did. And the following year, this whole block was shut down and became the new venue for Oktoberfest, becoming one of the biggest events hosted by the city and bringing thousands of people to White Plains every year. As is evident from the crowd here today, Paul knew so many people. People would say to him all the time, you should be the mayor. Mm -hmm. I witnessed this exchange many times, and Paul was always humbly respond, no, 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 there are plenty of other people for that job. But after they leave, I would see the pondering look on his face, and I would say to myself, oh boy. <laughs> he would then say to me, so what do you think? I would always follow with a hard no. He would then say, but not now. 
in a little while, when the boys are older and, and I'll have more time, I have no doubt that he would have been mayor of White Plains one day. I want to thank Paul's partners, Jimmy and Brian, for all of your support this past year and for taking on all the extra responsibilities of the businesses. Thank you to all the staff of Hudson Grill and Lilies here in White Plains, Hudson Social in Stamford, Woodside Cafe, and Sean Oaks in Queens, especially to all the managers, Rudy, Manny, Pablo, Miguel, and Zorn. Paul considered you all like family. He's seen the potential in each and every one of you. He mentored and guided you all so that you could fulfill these roles to the high standards Paul always strived for. This past year, you have all gone above and beyond to keep the businesses going strong, especially with the challenges of this pandemic and without Paul. He would be so proud of all of you. Jose, you have been amazing to the boys and myself, taking the boys on as your little brothers. I know Paul was like a father to you, and as he was to most of the staff. Paul would never drink coffee at home in the morning. Whenever I offered him some, he would refuse, saying, Jose will have a fresh pot on for me when I go into work. He enjoyed the morning coffees and chats with you. If Paul wasn't having his morning coffee with Jose at Hudson, he was having it at Rooster's with the feisty mayo man, Dave Walsh. There were mornings Paul would say to me, don't make me any breakfast this morning. I'd better go to Rooster's to meet Dave. It's been over a week since I've seen him, and he'll be wicked if I, that I've left it go so long. He would then imitate the reaction he expected to hear from Dave. These are some choice words I cannot say here today. Any of you who know Dave will understand. To all of you who have supported and comforted me and the boys, comforted me and the boys this past year. Jimmy, Brian, and their families, Jacqueline and Dan, Paul's niece and her husband Gareth, to all of the colleagues who provided much need, needed distraction and somewhere to go at the weekends, to Grace and Ian Friend, Carrie Ann and Mark O'Brien, your homes were always open with a meal on the table for me and the boys. Kelly Myers, for always being there to listen. Tony Taylor, for always being available to help out, be it picking up the boys or fixing things around the house. Stacy Lombardo, Lombardi, sorry. Mike Mangan, for helping me navigate certain aspects of Paul's businesses outside of your professional relationship. You are both very good friends to Paul and have extended that friendship to me now. I also want to thank everyone who made this day possible. I know that Brian is going to thank you all individually in a few minutes, so I will leave that to him. But please know how grateful I am to all of you. Getting back to Brian. Words cannot describe how thankful I am to you. You've taken me under your wing and assumed a big brother role in my life. You've helped me put one foot in front of the other every day this past year. You've taught me about the ins and outs and the behind the scenes of the businesses. You've gently guided and nudged me out of my comfort level, knowing that it was important for me to have a distraction and a new purpose and focus, while at the same time always giving me the space and time to breathe when you knew that there were days that that is all I needed to do. Most of our daily conversations included Paul. Sentences like, this is what Paul would do, or if Paul was here, he would do this or say that. Brian, we have cried and laughed together so much over the past year, and I know your big brother Paul is so proud and grateful to you for all you have done for his family. To Paul, the love of my life, 
thank you. For our two, call it. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> for our, thank you for our two beautiful boys, for 20 wonderful years of memories, and for now, guiding me and giving me the strength and courage every day to continue your legacy. I will never stop missing and loving you. May your beautiful soul rest in eternal peace and heaven. <laughs>